El Duncan back with you on SportsCenter. NBA free agency has arrived. Teams can, well, they can talk to their own free agents, but then the full-on frenzy officially starts on Sunday. And one big name out there, Warriors guard Clay Thompson, core member of four Golden State titles, five-time All-Star. He's 34, though, and definitely struggled at times last season. Plus, of course, the Warriors have huge luxury tax concerns. Still, their GM, Mike Dunleavy Jr., doesn't sound ready to cannonball the Splash Brothers. We want him back. I think we said that all along. Hopeful he'll come back. But as far as like the specifics of discussions and those types of things, I think it's important to keep kind of in-house. And when that stuff's, when we figure out a solution to all that, we'll have news for you. To say like a guy like Clay Thompson, who's meant so much to this franchise, to completely strip the emotion away from it, um, I think that's almost impossible. Uh, but you know, this is a business. For more on Clay's journey with Golden State, we bring in our front office insider Bobby Marks, who's on the scene from Brooklyn and joins us now. And Bobby, if Golden State is indeed committed to re-signing Clay, what kind of deal even realistically could they offer him? Well, I think you're looking at a deal somewhere in the 20 to 25 million dollar range. This is a player that earned 43 million dollars last year with Golden State, and the Warriors have made it clear. The goal is to stay competitive, but also balance their budget. Spent $380 million last year on salary and luxury tax to lose in the first round here. And certainly the decision with Clay Thompson and then Chris Paul on June 28th, who's got a non-guaranteed contract. But for the Warriors to have flexibility, it's got to be in that 20 to $25 million range. Yeah, for the folks at home that are like, how on earth could your balloon, your cost balloon to almost $400 million? Just Google repeater tax, and a picture of Golden State <laughs> is right next to it. Uh, meanwhile, Bobby Clay, not the only West Coast all-star that could hit free agency. Paul George has a $49 million player option to stay with the Clippers. What would the market look like for him if he were to opt out? Yeah, this is not really the market to be one of the marquee free agents here. When you're looking at five teams that have cap space, uh, Philadelphia would certainly be a logical destination where they can offer him a four-year, $212 million contract. And then it's Orlando, Oklahoma City, you know, certainly two playoff teams. Detroit is rebuilding. Utah is another one of those teams, and certainly the ability to resign with the Clippers here. So the marketplace is cool for a player like Paul George, but certainly keep an eye on Philadelphia with that cap space to go along with Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. Yeah, uh, sometimes it's best to water the grass in your own yard. George and Kawhi Leonard have spent five seasons with the Clippers and won only three playoff series. We'll see if they'll give it another go. Bobby Marks with the latest around the NBA. Thank you.